literally just call them a friend, if that's what they are. There is never a reason to call anyone your work wife slash husband. If it's platonic, they're your friend. End of story. There is nothing platonic about being a wife or husband. A special platonic friendship. So, like, a close friend? Lumfeo. The whole work spouse thing is so dumb. Had a coworker tell me she's my work wife and I'm her work husband. I shut that down real quick. Sounds creepy and weird and not platonic at all. What was her reaction and how was it going forward? It's weird. I would not be comfortable at all if my partner had a work husband. Right? That's my thought. Google defines it as a platonic relationship where you both work well together and no feelings are involved. Let's be seriously though, if part of it is how you resemble a couple, taking care of each other's emotional needs, helping out, finishing each other's sentences, bickering, going out together, then I hardly believe there's no feelings involved. Jim was Pam's work husband. Yeah, and boom operator guy had to f asterisk 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 that up. I'll never understand why they made that a thing in the show. Just let Pam and Jim Athe and PP Halbert live their lives happily ever after. That sounds like some dumb s asterisk 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 people come up with when they have too much time in their hands. Doesn't seem like a good idea either way. You can just say work friend or friend. Why put a layer of weird on it? Speak for yourself. I, for one, couldn't do without my work lover, work fuck buddy and work ex. I'd never refer to someone's that, or allow them to refer to me as that. It's fucking stupid. You have a good friend at work. That's it. Call him slash her your good friend. People are fucking obsessed with titles these days and it's annoying as hell. I saw a comment the other day, where they said they had work wives and work husbands. I replied asking if they'd simply never heard of the term colleague. Neither time I was deemed a work husband was I okay with it. The second time was from a lesbian who introduced me to her so as her work husband. WTF. To me, it's always been an anecdote and a way of expressing pent up sexual frustration. Being friends with someone of the opposite sex at work, perfectly fine. Referring to them as some sort of work spouse seems like a way to express romantic feelings towards someone outside of your marriage or monogamous relationship without physically acting on them. If my girlfriend referred to a friend of hers at work as her work boyfriend, for example, I would not be comfortable with that. Referring to someone as your work spouse is effectively the same thing in my mind. If I heard that, I'd just end the relationship. Maybe I'm just insecure, but it feels too sketchy to me after a relationship where I had suspicions for months that ended up being true. If my GF sees someone else as anything worth referring to as a husband then I'd assume we have a fundamentally incompatible perspective on being in a relationship. It's essentially a way to say, if we were both single, I would date her. To me it's unacceptable. Absolute garbage. I go to work to work. Some people go to work to cheat. It's a gradual process that happens which is absolutely disgusting. If these people's partners would know how they act at work, ugh. No work spouse, I have a work mom. She's a sweetheart, really. Has to be my own mom's age. On the contrary, I also have a work stalker. A young girl around 25 to 26 who is seemingly obsessed with me. Backslash backslash. I have a work brother, we jokingly call our bosses mom and dad. It's a genuinely shitty thing to do if you have a real life partner, but workplaces are often toxic. I have three. They don't know about each other. It's probably not going to end well. This guy works. I've heard of this, but never seen it in person or understood it. Sounds like a dumb juvenile thing and a good way, if you have a spouse, to either end up cheating, or make it seem like you're cheating. Characterized by a close emotional bond, high levels of disclosure and support. Clear definition of an emotional affair. Especially when they spend more time together at work, than with their actual families. I would never be okay with my wife calling a guy her work husband. And I would never disrespect my wife by calling another woman my work wife. 
It's super weird, but I also don't think it's wrong if a married couple is completely okay with it. To me it clearly implies a very strong intimate connection. They may not have done anything sexual with each other, but they are too personally involved with each other if they are comfortable giving that title, even in a joking manner. They probably invest quite a bit of time in getting to know each other even outside of work hours. And even if they do keep it to only working hours, they probably have a flirtatious vibe. Something the real wife would be very uncomfortable with if she saw in person how their interaction. It's a stupid name for a pretty mundane concept. The one chick I knew that had a work hubby divorced her actual husband for him lol. It's a weird term that never should have been created. I hate when I hear it. It's flirtatious, even going by the label alone 10 out of 10 won't recommend when already in a loving, stable long term relationship. I don't like the idea, if you have someone at home, that you call your real spouse. But this new culture supports every step that leads to divorce and then hit the courtroom with the Pikachu face. Workspaces are turning out to be hookups conventions for orgies with the band. My wife has a close friend at work, I've met him, he's a nice guy, our kids are the same ages, so they share stories. My wife basically brings up his stories every time she sees him, so I refer to him as her work husband, I'm not threatened by him, or think she's in love with him, I just know they are close. Because you're an adult. Well said. I don't like it. I wouldn't be comfortable with my wife, having one and it'd be a hard boundary for me. Fucking weird if you're in a relationship and the person is of the sex you're attracted to. I'm a straight dude and we always joke around that my two guy besties at work are my work husbands. 